first began making sand paintings a little over 10 years ago. Actually, the idea came to me in 1975. It's a fact that most of our knowledge about art comes to us through the use of photography. I wanted to make objects which I would photograph and then let nature take its course. I decided I would make sand paintings and document them and then let them be washed away by the surf using the photography to pass along the knowledge of their existence. That should about do it. We're loaded down with about 250 pounds of colored sand and uh, a few odds and ends for the sand painting. So I think we have enough. We're about ready to go. here that uh, is very exhilarating, the fact that uh, we have the wind, uh, the ocean that can wash the piece away. I've had pieces that have uh, been washed away before I've even finished them. And that amount of uh, spontaneity is uh, very much what life is all about anyway. Great beach, great beach. I think that's the spot right there, the, you know. It's a little flatter, and uh, it's a little larger for what I want to do. A little larger area than this right here. Great, let's unload. Yeah, you gotta you gotta work for art, you know. Art will put you to work. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I'm looking for the circle here in these tracks that this truck came by here, right here. And this is the this is it right here. Of course, you can see it along the, the tracks. So go right through here and get my circle going. And then there'll be the four, four pointed wing vertical that'll go through it. Oh, butt drip. What I've got here is the uh, fire hose from my building. It's about 70 some feet long. And I use it today as a measurement device. And I wanna use it as this vertical going up through the circle. I have to use in a piece this big, this large, enough things that I find in the environment to uh, give me the visual elements I need. <laughs> that one's spinning off. Working in a coal mine. <laughs> Working in a coal mine, whoop, boom, out of this town. Okay, now I need some water. of a mystical power who could remove the evil spirit of sickness from his tribesmen. When I make a sand painting, I feel a spiritual bond with him. It's a ritual, the spreading of magical colors, dancing back and forth between the ocean and the painting, listening to the rhythm of the waves and the drums. There is a bond with nature. The materialism of contemporary society seems diminished by making such a temporary object. 
The idea of making a mark or making an object that is ephemeral doesn't bother me. I like the fact that it can be there for a very short period of time and then be embedded in the memory rather than having an object there to consider. But right now, the wind's perfect for drawing a color on top of another color. And then it will continue to change this afternoon as the wind continues to blow. visual highlights. I want these small objects to surprise the viewer, as they are generally very whimsical. Many times they appear to people as souvenirs, in the way a shell from the shoreline might be taken home to remind one of their experience at that beach. This is the winged wheel. When you stand up there, you'll see it's a big wheel spinning. It's throwing off a little bit of seaweed down there at the bottom. And it's a flag that's standing up in the middle of the wheel. 